Mr. Beast gets canceled again. All right, guys, we got ourselves a new update to the Mr. Beast drama. And I'm not going to lie to you. I saw this update like literally like the first five minutes of when it came out. And I just okay. kind of thought to myself, like, do I really want to cover this and make a video on it? And then eventually I ended up deciding, eh, I guess I'll make a video on it. So Ty Orr, the guy who basically pissed everybody off because mm. he started off doing good. He made this video right here that's uh, titled, I also work for Mr. Beast. He's a thief. And it actually was a pretty good video. I'm sure most of you guys know what the video entailed. If you don't, go ahead and watch it. But basically, he made this video basically explaining how uh, Mr. B stole his idea. And because of that, he felt that he was entitled to $1.7 million. Which Yo, so when he did that, that was so stupid. Like, um, when I saw that, I was like, bro, bro doing the most for no reason. You see what I'm saying? He's doing the most for no reason. And... I understand that he took your idea, but you're an employee of his. Like, you're the one who's supposed to give him ideas so he can, like, make content. I don't know what his job was, but, like, at the same time, like, isn't that your job, kind of? To make his show better? To give him ideas? I don't know. Well, let's keep watching. Which, there's nothing wrong with feeling that you're entitled to a certain amount of money. However, he did something that rubbed a lot of people in the community wrong, the wrong mm. way. He started a GoFundMe. Oh, my god! And the amount of money that he wanted to raise from the GoFundMe was 1.7 million dollars and one point dude you know that someone's full of poof allegedly theorizing if you're asking for money because he stole your idea bro you see what i'm saying like you hate it that he stole your idea so you're asking for money i don't think that's a good person you're asking from people that are innocent that you they didn't do you wrong but you're still asking them for money because mr beast did you wrong you see what i'm saying that's kind of weird um in my opinion i don't know i just don't I don't agree with that. I feel like taking money from people, um, especially like if you're like getting sued or something like Coffeezilla and you're out of money and you've been making these videos, people support you. That's cool, bro. But you just see like Mr. B stole your idea. Like you really don't really make content um, and you're just trying to take money from people because he because he did you wrong. But he really didn't do you wrong because you're really his employee. Yeah, bro. Come on. Put in the comment section if you agree with me, but like I still think it's kind of weird, bro. It's, it's kind of weird. So I just think that this guy's kind of cooked. I mean, he might get views, but I just think that a lot of people, unfortunately, will always remember him as the guy who tried to basically uh, grift off the Mr. B situation, yeah. which you guys know on this channel, we don't really hold any punches over here. We tell the truth. I have nothing against the guy. However, I'm just going to call it like I see it. I think that that guy was absolutely trying to grift. Uh, he tried to pull the whole... You know, I don't really, I didn't really know that this video was going to take off. I didn't really expect it. I don't believe him. I think that he absolutely, maybe he didn't know that it was going to get 2.4 million views, which I understand. Who would know that? I think he did. Um, oh, this, There's this huge trend going on now is how can we crap on Mr. Beast? You see what I'm saying? How can we make him look t like a terrible person? And it's just a trend. Like literally everyone's been doing it. I'm even making another video on it. Like if you guys don't realize it, it's a trend where everyone just craps on him, say he's this terrible person, he does stuff wrong, he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, then you you might get a million views, but like the guy knew what he was doing, he did it for money. It's pretty obvious. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. But you know dang well, you make any video with Mr. Beast in the title saying Mr. Beast exposed or Mr. Beast is over or Mr. Beast is done or I work for Mr. Beast. You know god dang well if you have common sense that you're gonna mm. get views, and so. He knew that he was going to get views. He didn't know he was going to get 2.4 million views, but he knew that he was going to get views. And he started to go fund me because in some weird way, he actually thought that the community would rally behind him and pay him back for the money that he's basically claiming that Mr. Beast owes him. So that's, that's the summary of that. But the new video he has is this one right here. So four hours ago, and I saw this. Uh, no. There's this whole thing about this guy being shadow banned. He's absolutely not being shadow banned because I do not follow him at all. As a matter of fact, let me go back and look. I don't think I do, right? Uh, no. Yeah, I do not follow him. But uh, so the thing about okay, so the thing about YouTube is, so there's there's tags, there's titling, there's thumbnailing, there's other stuff. You're not shadow banned. It's just the quality of content that you're coming up with or the quality of content or like if you're not making enough content because certain um certain trends they want like basically they want a certain amount of videos they want it to be this certain length of time viewer duration there's a whole bunch of like analytical and technical stuff in the back end and if you're not doing that and if you don't know what you're doing 
you're not gonna get views um i you see see my flag not on this channel it's gonna take a long time for to build a long form but on my shorts like i've had help with a couple of my mentors and they taught me a whole bunch of stuff to get the plaque and to actually like succeed so if you don't know that type of stuff you're not gonna really gain views see he got lucky off the algorithm he he predicted a tr like he he knows that the crapping on mr beef is a trending thing so that's why he got a lot of views but when he tries to make other stuff people are people don't know this guy they don't know they really like he's not really doing anything trending so like except the mr b stuff so they, are, they, are they just gonna watch him for the mr b stuff or are they gonna watch him for something else you just need to identify trends especially on youtube to be successful so no he's not shadow banned he uploaded this video and i was just scrolling on my youtube timeline and i happened to see his video and yeah i watched it and i just wanted to give a little bit of commentary on it first let me just be frank uh this video was completely pointless i'm just gonna be honest i watched wait 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 before we do anything the i show speed <laughs> guys in that minecraft screen all right stream i said never mind minecraft stream is like right here it's kind of funny let's keep moving on it was only six minutes shout out to him for cutting it down from 23 mm -hmm. minutes like the last video six minutes that's great but he didn't really talk about much of anything. I'm just being honest. However, he did say something that absolutely rubbed me the wrong way that I didn't like. And I'm not okay. the only one who feels this way. If you just look at the comments uh, under this video, uh, people are just not happy with him. You know, he really rubbed people uh, the wrong way. I want to see if I could just mm. find some of the comments. Because I'll tell you, I was looking and people were just really upset. One comment here says his rep is cooked. Mm. And then this person says, guy is an opportunistic grifter. Oof. Stuff like this takes away from the people with actual beef and reason to speak out. I do agree it's with that. Good. I, I don't think he's a bad person. I want to make that clear. But I think that he he's absolutely trying to take advantage of the Mr. Beast situation. He just doesn't really seem like he really has anything, you know? It, it just yeah, and the thing is, okay, so with this content creator, if you wanted to prove to us that he, that he stole his idea, that he was actually a good content creator, he had, he has good things going for him. Like, he would make actual good content that people watch. You see what I'm saying? He would make content. He will start building his way up. Yeah, he got his start off hating Mr. Beast, but building his way up, gaining an audience. But what he's doing is just keep complaining and complaining and not thinking about the bigger picture. you got a little of an audience now. Now, transfer that audience to your actual content. Build stuff that actually makes people want to watch. Build stuff that you actually gain a community and people that support you. But if you're just going to just talk you see what i'm saying if, you, if you're just gonna talk and not really like say anything like what are you doing bro like, like you're not gonna work for you gotta work for things you gotta work for youtube you can't just get oh hit two million views one million views on a video and expect that you made it it's not how it works bro you actually have to put in the work because you got that big growth but you're gonna go everything always goes down it's the same thing with prime it had this big boom but the sales are going down the hype's not there anymore you see what i'm saying they have to build it back up so like I don't know. I just think people sometimes they just in their head they're just like, "Oh, I blew up. I'm gonna be huge." Blah blah blah. No, bro. I've been doing content for almost four years. Started off TikTok and transferred on the YouTube and all that type of stuff. It's not. It's not. Um, our awesome on Instagram, but like, it's not easy, bro. It's actually really, really hard to be successful in these kind of things. It's trial and error. See what works. See what doesn't work. And people need to realize that. You see what I'm saying? Just, I'm just being honest. It just, it just does. I'm not saying that. Mr. Beast didn't probably steal his idea, you know, whatever. I, I get that. But for you to think that you're entitled to $1.7 million and then you start to go fund me and now crazy. you're basically making a follow-up video. And my only gripe with the follow-up video is he literally didn't say anything. I'm not joking. Like we can even listen to a little bit of, if you want, like I'm telling you, he, he really didn't say much of anything. I'm just like, okay. Well, like it just, it just wasn't anything worthy enough of making a video. Let's just listen to a little bit. So you guys kind of see what I'm saying now that's just not the things that i'm looking for new information so when i was in that warehouse working for mr beast on that video the video the world's most dangerous obstacle course i was walking to the bathroom and i saw okay. mac there at the time i was actually fangirling funny thing is in the auditorium they had a hundred glass boxes working on the video ages mm. one through 100 we haven't even started working on the world's most dangerous obstacle course so why was mac there bonus question honestly ask yourself this question okay. if you were the contestant for that video that series and it wasn't Mac do you really think you're gonna do a walk through the warehouse do you really think you're gonna get a heads up that's just more proof that they're actually faking their videos we don't get that treatment we get so yeah like I said what? I mean, just, like what does this have to do with anything you know I mean I get the whole 
more proof that they're faking their videos. But I mean, Dogpack already kind of exposed that. There's other YouTubers already exposed that. Your gripe with Mr. Beast was that he stole your idea. So I mean, yeah. if you're going to make a video titled, I also work for Mr. Beast, he's a liar. I, you know, I just think it's a little bit of a, I don't want to say clickbait, but it's just a, a tiny bit misleading when I'm pretty much expecting we're going to get more information from what you said in part one, like more details about Mr. Okay, so clickbaiting is a natural thing for YouTubing, but the what echoes, I got to I gotta say this, I got to say this. I don't agree with him saying part two. I agree with you on that point because if you're saying part two, right? Okay. How does this make any sense? If you're saying part two and you're like going off, you're not really making a part two. You're just trying to like clickbait money, clickbait people for more money. You see what I'm saying? Clickbait people for nothing. Like this is not entertaining content. This is why this video didn't blow up. You see what I'm saying? So you got to realize is okay yeah he got fake faking videos but a lot of twitch streamers a lot of youtubers if you guys didn't realize all these youtubers and twitch streamers they're like they're hype and they're like over like they're like overdoing it like i should speak going <gasps> like yeah that's kind of i should speak but he kind of overdoes it a little bit to make it more entertaining for the viewer a lot of us fake stuff a little bit to make it more entertaining we we make it more like how to explain this. We make it like we over exaggerate. That's how we, we over exaggerate sometimes to like make it more entertaining. We do certain things. Yeah, that's that's I show speed being I show speed. You see what I'm saying? But he's not going to do that 24 seven. He's not he's not going to be acting like that all day, every day. He's probably just a chill guy. Same thing with Kai Sinet. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with any person, bro. Um, Jinxie is a big one, like him yelling and screaming. Yeah, that's Jinxie. That's Jinxie being Jinxie, but at the same time, he don't do that when he's talking to Brecky Hill all the time. He don't, he's a chill guy. He's just chilling, hanging out. And then he, he make he sometimes he scripts stuff and sometimes doing certain stuff to make the video or the stream more entertaining. You guys got to realize this. This is literally every content, like mostly every content creator on the internet. So like, like you calling him a liar and stuff. You're calling every single content creator on the internet a liar, basically. There's some people that are like that are crazy and and like that the whole time and in real life. But like a lot of the bigger ones, like I don't know, you can't sustain being like, <laughs> doing too much all the time. I just think it's too much. No, not one person can do that unless you're freaking a demigod. But like I don't know, like you people got to realize that. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. Let's keep watching. Just to be stealing your idea that we didn't know about, but we didn't really get that. We just got a whole bunch of nothing, to be honest with you. That, that's really what we got. Uh, we could play a little bit of it, I guess. Here we go. The DocuSign. It's 2024. Everything is done online. After all the allegations, it's not too far-fetched to think that a person like this could steal ideas or could cheat, could fake videos, do all the things that he's been accused of. It's not so far-fetched. Another thing was that they had some major, major cult vibes. I remember specifically there were two girls there with me. What? And one of the So yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm just being honest, guys. I I'm just being what? honest, man. What what does the people here had a cult vibes have anything to do. Remember, the title is I also work for Mr. Beast. He's a liar. So we already saw part one. I'm expecting this to be the follow up to part one. And now you're talking about, well, Mr. Beast had a cold. The guy Mac was there. Like, it's just it's weird. But anyway, it just this is random information that has nothing to do with like, yeah, there's a little bit to do with Mr. Beast, but it it's basically not exposing him. You're just doing it just to make a viral video. Like, you see what I'm saying? Hey man, admit it. You see what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm making Mr. Beast content. I'm gonna admit it. I'm making Mr. Beast content to get some views on my channel. My channel has been a little low the last three days. You see what I'm saying? The last three days has been a little low. I'm gonna make some Mr. Beast content to bring it back up. Uh, admit it. Admit it to your audience, bro. Be truthful, man. Come on. Come on. Hey, let me go to the ultimate thing that rubbed me the wrong way, and I actually saw in the comments uh, it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way too. Because like I said, I watched the video, and when I saw this part, I was just like, oh. Oh, this this guy, this guy is something else. Like he he just he really got some pride there. He just don't want to admit he's wrong. But but let, let me show you guys what he said. Because he this is what he said about the uh GoFundMe check. Once that obje objective was This is what he said about the GoFundMe.
Let's done. See. They didn't need me anymore. They sent me home. As far as the GoFundMe, that was a mistake, and it was truly embarrassing after, like, after, like, actually seeing it, it was embarrassing. And after some thought, even though I did in a pinned comment, I'm not gonna apologize for that. I don't want you guys' money. Everything was refunded. If you don't listen to me, listen to Dog. Yeah, so, like I said, I'm... I think that's Cap. I think he got caught, and he got called out by the internet, so that's why he refunded the money. I don't think... I still think he wants it. I don't know. I might be wrong about this. Put it in the comment section. But I think I think it's full cap. I think he he got caught by the internet. He doesn't want his image to be tainted. It's already tainted enough, but like he doesn't want it to be tainted, and he's just saying crap stuff to like I don't know to to bring the negative comments away to PR control. You see what I'm saying? His image. That's just my opinion. I don't know. I'm just gonna be straight up. I I I'm not really feeling this guy. That's crazy. Yeah, me and Echoes are on the same wavelength. Like we're definitely on the same wavelength. Like it's kind of crazy though. This man said, "I don't want your money, but you raised the GoFundMe." So he said, he said, uh, basically acknowledged that he did the GoFundMe. He said, "I'm not going to apologize <laughs> for doing the GoFundMe, and I don't want your money." So you cap. definitely wanted our so money. So cap. You so tried cap. to raise 1.7 million dollars, and had you raised. 0.01% of that, we wouldn't even be having this conversation mm. because you would have probably taken the money. You wouldn't even have made a video, whatever, if you had to raise some money. But what happened was, as far as I, from what I saw, he only raised like $450. I'm even shocked he was even able to get that, but he didn't get a whole lot of money for people. He got a little bit of money, but he didn't get nowhere near what he was probably expecting. Definitely nowhere near that $1.7 million. And I think he got a little butthurt about it, but I just think it's so goofy to now make a second video and say, oh, I'm not apologizing for basically trying to grift you guys. Yeah, that's uh, weird. But, uh, that's weird. You know, I, I don't think I did anything wrong. I, I never wanted your money. What do you mean you never? <laughs> like, I don't like this is how you know that people are just full of they're full. They're full of stuff like. Like, come on, bro, like everyone knows it. He like that's the thing. Echoes was right. He didn't even apologize. Man didn't even apologize. He didn't, and that like being a real man is like knowing your faults, knowing when you're wrong. You see what I'm saying? And people are wrong all the time, bro. I'm a stubborn person, and I still admit when I'm wrong because if I don't, I would be a piece of poop human being. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> and this is the thing with our uh, wrong with our society. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Is basically when people like do something wrong and they don't admit it and then they just keep don't admitting and not admitting it and they keep making the same mistake and keep making the same mistake and keep making the same mistake and ruin the representation and people are not really liking them you see what i'm saying that what does that make them what does that make them bro that make them that makes them a terrible person you see what i'm saying and that's wrong with their society more and more people are becoming this way and because social media they 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 twist things and make things different and on twitter it's toxic and, and a lot of society is turning into this but we need to be humble we need to be like yo i was wrong bro you see what i'm saying we're arguing about like uh if unicorns are real i thought unicorns were real you see what i'm saying i was wrong i gotta admit it if i don't admit it, i'm not gonna learn from my mistakes that i did something wrong in the situation i don't know um and i'm torah i'm a Taurus or Taurus. i don't know the sign i'm 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 stubborn as a bull, you see what I'm saying? And I still admit when I'm wrong. Um But let's keep watching. If you never wanted to my yes you did. Like it just So yeah, uh unfortunately, just to give my opinion, guys like this kind of take away, unfortunately, from the other people because some viewers may lump this guy in with the other people, and now it brings up that speculation, like, well, what if this guy over here is another tie or because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's actually another guy who came out mm. and that's the issue with this stuff. Because now when other people come out, now people start to get a little bit more skeptical because of uh, because of uh, what the Ty Orr guy said. But let me go to this. Uh, Yo, YouTube. shout out to my boy Cam Nuggets, bro. He makes amazing content. Echoes and Cam, goats. They're goats on YouTube right now. They're goats. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to them. YouTube channel named Cam Nuggets, which shout out to him. He actually posted a new video of a guy named 52 Games who, I guess what 52 Games made a video about Mr. Beast like a very long time ago. Uh, really? I forgot what it was called, but he made this video like three years ago, something like that. Let me see if I can find it. No, I don't see it. You literally have to go to this guy's channel. He has a very small follower. I don't even see his video. Jeez. You know what? Maybe Cam Nuggets linked it. Hold on. What in time?
Let's see. Okay, so Cam Nuggets. Let's see if Cam Nuggets linked the video. Usually they have to. So I can see it. Okay, he did link the video. So here's the video right here. So if you guys are starting YouTube, a small tip I'm going to give you guys because you guys follow my channel. Please, I was doing it in the beginning. I didn't link the videos. Actually, a bigger YouTube called my called me out, WestJet, and I started linking the video. Thank you, WestJet, for correcting me, bro. I appreciate it. I was wrong. You see how I admit that? <laughs> um, Like, you need to link the video and you need to at, put the at. It's just for one, it makes... It makes it so you're linking and people are actually seeing where the original content comes from. And it also, it helps you from not getting striked on your channel. But let's keep, let's keep watching. Just a little tip, just a little tip. Okay, so this is the video. Mm. So yeah, this guy made a video. How many views does that have? Okay, now it has 1K. When I first saw this video, it had like 300 views. So it definitely started mm. to pick up on the algorithm a little bit. But anyway, my bottom line is I definitely think that more former employees are going to come out. You already have one right yeah. here. He's not a new guy who came out. He just came out years ago, and people are now starting to catch on to the story. That is crazy. And I think he was on Cam Nuggets live stream or typed in there in the chat, something like that. But anyway, hey, yo. bottom line is the Ty Orr guy is not good for the other Mr. Beast people because so far you've had a lot of people, in my opinion, have been pretty credible. You know, you had uh, obviously Dog Pack. You had uh, Jake Weddle, who I know some people may have whatever issues with him, but I actually think he's pretty credible. I like him. And, uh, yeah, now you have this guy. Uh, but the Ty Orr guy, I just think that even if you have a claim, even if what you're saying about Mr. Beast is right about stealing uh, your mm. idea, people just see you as a grifter because now that's strike two. You made the first video. You tried to raise $1.7 million <laughs> from people, which is absolutely insane. It is and insane. And then you make a part two, and you literally don't say anything. And what you say in part two has zero to do with what you said in part one. And this is gonna. this is the thing. If you do something wrong and you're accusing someone – that's going to be make people spectacle for the next person who comes out. So if the next person comes out and they're saying truthful stuff, but people are spectacle because one guy already tried to make money off this situation, it's just going to make the situation harder to prove your point for a lot of other people. Maybe I'm wrong about this, put it in the comment section. I might be wrong about this, but I just think it was, it was just terrible. So like, this is kind of crazy though. This is from a while ago, 2019. I don't and it's starting to pick up on the algorithm. That's how that's how you know that the YouTube algorithm is kind of crazy. How it kind of identifies trends and finding stuff and the AI and all that stuff is is crazy. Google's ahead of the game, but let's keep watch. I don't even know what you're talking about in part two. The only thing I really got out of part two is I'm not sorry for the GoFundMe. Like mm. honestly, just a waste of video. It Again, was. not trying to be mean. I'm just being completely honest. You guys know I'm gonna always keep it real and give my honest opinion, and, you know, maybe you agree. guys agree with it. If you do, let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's today's video. Just wanted to give an update on that real quick because, uh, yeah, I just think people are really being rubbed the wrong way by the Ty Orr guy. And, honestly, at this point, hopefully he doesn't make any videos. Hopefully he just stops because it's just, it's just not a good look, man. I'm just going to be honest. I don't think you should stop. I think you should just focus on making more viral content on different things. You got your audience, you got your people, and let's do it. Um. But guys, if you guys have not liked Echoes from Above video, what are you doing, bro? Amazing content creator. He's one of the goats on YouTube. Love reacting to his content. Guys, also, if you guys have not turned your notifications for him, do that. He makes amazing content. I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on his videos. Always do. Echoes is cool. He hasn't, he hasn't striked me yet. Very cool guy, in my opinion. Um, shout out to Echoes again. But guys, if you guys have not liked, subscribe, and turn on your notifications... Please do that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.